Hi everyone, welcome back to Return of the Obra Dinn. Um, the investigation is in full flight now. We've got these two um, dead persons here. Let's just crack straight on. Ooh, got horrible sounds. Ooh! Oh look, it's got like some sort of r rider of the crab. Oh, this guy threw the torch to burn it. But these two looks to have their they had their heads cut off. There he is by the crab. There's the cubs, mate. He was spiked by. Well, the spikes were. Well, this guy's been spiked. Oh yeah, we know him. He he limped off, didn't he, or dragged himself away? Um, oh, who's this? That's that guy. What else have we got back here? Oh, we've got another one coming down. That's what they're defending against. Right. So then, James Wallace, surgeon's mate, met an unknown fate. Well, we know what happened to him. He had his, um, clawed? No, he's decapitated by a beast. And this guy, do we know who he is? No, unknown soul. He was also decapitated by a beast. Should we know who he is? Apparently we should. We've got enough clues now. No, no idea who it is. Um, who's next? Oh, over here. No, that's the fire. Who's next then? Oh, up there. Oh, God, we haven't even been up there. This is where the second crab monster's coming in. Look, we've got another. Oh, wow. This is all kicking off. Look at this. People injured here. Crikey, Moses. Right. One thing we can do. No, not him. This guy, we know, he wasn't shot with a gun. He was spiked by a terrible beast, whoever he may be. Um, he's a steward. Whether or not he's... um. I was going to say he looks Indian, but that's kind of a huge dab in the dark. He does look kind of Indian, doesn't he? It's the moustache. Anyway, we'll, we can always change that later. Um, let's follow the smoke. Up the hold. Was this door open earlier? Oh yeah, it was. Oh, we've got somebody there. Okay, let's follow the smoke for now. We've done that, dude. Oh, blimey. What's going on? Stay back. It's already done with Nick. Nick's already done in. Come on, boss. No, get there. Hey! That sounded like Americans, didn't it? It's already done for Nick. So he's an American. He got spiked. Already done for Nick. So who's already dead? Oh, is this. Oh no. He's still alive. 
hiding. Don't blame him. Is this Nick? Oh, there's another more of them. Look at this. These spider beasts. Oh, is this Nick? This could be Nick. That might be Nick, and he's been harpooned by the looks of it. Or oh, this could be Nick. And he's... He's just dead. Anyone else? No. So, definitely American accents. Who is this guy? I don't know. Maybe Nick? Is this Nick? We don't. It says we don't know. Okay. He got spiked. Uh, where's the other dude? This dude here. He's American. So, try anyways. So, Carpenter's mate, Marcus Gibbs. Any more Americans? No, it's got to be him. They're all, they're all greyed out. We've got Akbar. We don't know who that is. Okay. The guy got harpooned. Let's figure out his story. Climb over the wreckage. God, I ho so hope they make a sequel to this. This is I just absolutely adore this so this style of storytelling and this kind of this period with all the things that went on so like around this time all the myths and uh, the legends that were born on the sea. Oh, so it's not a harpoon, it's it's a leg of one of these beasts. I don't know who he is, but he got stuck good. Oh, this dude fell. Has he fallen? There's that guy again. Him. Is that Akbar? That's Brennan. This is the American dude. No, it's not, it's another one. That's the guy in the stripy shirt again. Or has he been thrown by that beast? It's difficult to tell. Who is this? No idea. How did they die? They got squished. Oh, they got s clawed? Um, speared by the beast. Speared, right? It's not. Claw is more like a bear, isn't it? We can't act bad, we can't. Got him, we don't know him. Okay. We're waiting for a couple more names. Oh, it's this dude who fell. I assume he fell. He looks like he's fallen, doesn't he? We don't have to get the rigging, do we? Come on, Swirly Whirly. Get on with it.
didn't. Good God, awesome. Whoa, okay, we're up. We're up here. Okay, he's a, he's a rigger. He's been struck by lightning. That's unfortunate. So these guys are the top sail guys. And there's our guy with tattoo who's ripped apart earlier. We'll probably figure out who he is. Got another one here. Okay, so these are these are the top sail guys. Yeah, they're arms to see they got a tattoo of a lady so we can identify who these are. Okay, so he was struck by lightning, which is um and that will cause him to fall. Now, did the lightning kill him or did the fall kill him? Who is this? We don't know. Uh, apparently he's a top salesman. We got any uh topman, here we go. Yeah, he could be any of these, couldn't he? We got Mamba, who's from New Guinea. Is he the guy with the tattoos? Um, one of the top men, thirty-seven. That's the one with the lady tattoo. So anyway, he got um, electrocuted. Odd thing to die of, isn't it? This time. Of... So hang on. So where's there's the tattooed guy? Him. Are you Mamba? Mamba. New Guinea always have tattoos, don't they? So are these the other top cell guys? I don't know. We could probably go up and find out who was. We okay. Let's have a look. These are the top. One of these must have a tattoo of a lady on her on their arm. Though you can't see his arms. Can't see him clearly. Doesn't look like it. I don't know which arm it was. I can't recall. I'm not getting a good enough view from there. Could be him. We don't know. He hasn't got a tattoo on his arm. Well, he has got a tattoo on his arm, but not of a woman. Don't know about him. Oh, hello. You didn't spot that guy. I can't. I can't zoom in on him. Is that good or bad? Who knows? He hasn't got a tattoo on that arm anyway. Uh, and he hasn't got a tattoo on it. We can't see his arms, so... Actually, let's get down. Look, there's... They are... What are they doing? They're pulling the rope. Okay. And the crab people are coming up. Look. Crabs are attacking. Oh, we're going to go out. Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> huh, let's just take stock. Um, we saw a skeleton in... Where was it? Was it up here? Yeah. Oh, this guy was taking a crap, and the Kraken got him. 
Oh, it's the um the artist. He was squished while having a poop. That's really unfortunate. He's obviously using the head. That's obviously why they call it the head. That's brought an indignified way to go. He's like, what are you more disgusted with? The noise, the, the sound, or... Yeah. Who's this? That's Martin. Is that Martin Stewart then? So, yes, that is Martin Stewart. So we can probably identify who that is by figuring out, is he like third officer? Who's this? 56. So these are the the Indian. Ah, so... Anyone in the bunks that we can use to identify? 45, nothing... Done. We can probably go back there and have a look more. Right, so this, who is this? This is the illustrator. Or, who have we got? Uh, Martin's the third mate, so that chap we saw is going to be the third mate's steward. The artist, Edward Spratt. Yes, e yes. He, he had diarrhea. No, he, um, he got crushed by a beast. Boom. Three more fates, correct. James Wallace, surgeon's mate, was decapitated by a terrible beast. Edward Spratt, the artist, was crushed by a terrible beast at an inappropriate time. And it was Mabba. Topman was torn apart by a terrible beast. All the beasts doing. Good stuff. So... Who are these guys? Are these the Russians? Oh, maybe not. Let's see, it, have a look around, see if there's any more clues. That's got a sword hanging. 36, there's no one in there though. No one in those. Numbers, but nothing to identify those people. All right, I think we've got... Maybe if we have a look at this one. This chap here, we know he was crushed by a loose cannon. Bless him. Now, he was the third mate's steward. He is Roderick and Anderson. That makes sense. That's Paul Moss. So we could probably have a guess who this one is then. Um, let's go to the stewards. That's got to be Davy James. Oh, hang on. Is it though? Hang on. Where is the fourth mate? Let's uh Oh sorry, let's go to the sketch. Second mate. Is this the fourth mate here? Hang on, so we've got second mate, third mate, yes, this has got to be the fourth sorry, the fourth officer. So this has to be, by deduction, John Davies. So that makes John, him, John Davies' um, steward. Fourth mate steward. So that's Davy James. That's a bit weird. James Davies and Davy James. So that means that this guy is the other guy who we haven't identified yet. And so that would be... Uh, Philip Dahl? Or Samuel...
Hmm. Samuel Gilligan. Let's have a look. Hang on. The second mate. Where's the second mate? There. So the uniforms are different for them. So I don't think that is... Oh, I don't know. Um, we'll have to play out a little bit more. Who are we looking for? Oh, up here. Oh, okay. Right, so that's the artist. Formerly known as Edward Spratt. Figure out what's going on here. Do you do? Let me on. <laughs> Over my dead body, you bloody day. Huh? How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. <laughs> or I forget. You killed my brother. What? There was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. Right, so this guy's brother dies, and this is a Danish guy. So that guy's Danish, and he's been clubbed. And we got this dude here who saw the whole thing, and you got a guy grabbing some books. Is he? Ah, uh, is he the the accountant? The ships, um, not cannon, what do they call them? Purser. I think he might be the purser. Okay, so I think that guy is the purser. This guy is Danish. And this guy's got a brother. So that should help us identify them. No idea who this guy is. We're back in the doom. So who is this? It's the Danish dude. Whoever the Danish dude is. There's a Swedish guy. That's not Danish. Denmark. Lars Lindy. Uh, he got clubbed. By somebody who's got a brother. It's going to be a seaman. Or well, it could be a topman, of course. Um, hmm. Don't know. Do we see anyone who's got the same name? Nothing's jumping at me, but this isn't the easiest one to look at. Nathan Peters, did I see another? Pe Samuel Peters, yes. He's one of the Peters boys. We don't know which one. But this dude, we think, is the purser. Purser, Duncan McKay. We don't know what happened to him. Well, it looks like he's leaving the boat, but did he survive? We don't know. Don't know who that is. That's one of the Peters boys. We obviously need to see the accident to understand which one it is. There's no one else over there. Okay. So we think we got Lars, right? the doom. There's a lot of people in the doom. A lot of people unanswered for. Conclusion. Who is this? 
Um, we know it's a Topman. Who is this Topman? Omid Ghul or Gull? Could be. We don't know what his fate was, do we? I don't think we know. We don't know. Um, that guy we don't know. Don't know. Duncan McKay Purser, we don't know what his fate was. Don't know. The Helmsman, we don't know his fate. Who is this? Still don't know. Apparently we should know, but um, oh, the bargain will remain. Right, what I, what we can do though, uh, if we go to the escape, now the two women, we assume, survived with the Doctor, and the Doctor's in Morocco. So, um, not in the Azores. We reckon alive in Africa. If we get this one right, alive in Africa. It didn't chime that we got more right. So let's maybe that isn't Miss Jackson. That isn't is in fact um, Miss Jane Bird. Boom. So we know who Miss Jackson is as well. John Davies, fourth mate, clubbed to death by Henry Brennan. Miss Jane Bird, passenger, live in Africa. And Roderick Anderson, third mate, steward. Fantastic. Right, we can also then go back to the escape and get the other lady changed and we know we'll get that one right because we just guessed the women so that is Emily Jackson she's alive in Africa So we can assume he's alive in Africa as well. That is an assumption. But he was on the boat, so it makes sense that he probably survived if they all survived. Okay. Blimey. Um, right. Uh, let's see if we can find another dead body then. Or there's something that we need to go back and have a look at. We've done that one. Anything up here? Have we done that one? I think so, yeah. Um, let's go below deck then. Right, we know who that is now, don't we? So, do we figure out who this was? No. That's the bosun. Um, can we figure out who this guy was? Emil O'Farrell. Oh, he's the butcher. Okay. Um. Let's have a look at this one. Soldiers of the Sea. guy saying come on boss is that dude there
That's Peter's. <gasps> oh, was there a Nick Peter's? If so, that is the other Peter's, if it's already done for Nick. Who was this, the Peter's? Samuel Peter's. No, oh no. Who was Nick? Nicholas Bottrell. There's Nicholas Bottrell there. Who's dead? That's Lars, isn't it? Let's go upstairs and have a... So is this Nick? Did we get a name for him? He's a topman. Is this Nick then? Was Nick a topman? Yes, he was. That must be Nick. Oh! So Nick Bottrell was speared by a terrible beast. Emily Jackson survived in Africa. Davy James is alive in Africa. Getting there, getting there a little bit at a time. Fantastica, right. More fates identified and a horrible beastie. Right, good stuff. Right, we'll leave it there. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Return to Everbidin. I love it. Absolutely loving this, and I uh, hope you are too. We'll be back more next time for further mystery deduction. And hopefully we'll get a few more fates. Oh, hello, I didn't see you there. Is that Akbar? Hiding under the... I don't blame him, to be fair. I'm not passing judgment at all. Anyone over the edge? Nope. All good. Right, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Take care. Watch out for the beasties.